Hey guys, my name is Clarkside, bringing you some Titan 4 Hardpoint gameplay. I recorded this match on Angel City a couple of weeks ago during the beta. We're just a few days away from launch now. March 11th for North America, here in the UK we're getting it on the 14th. I'm stoked, I'm going to be queuing up at midnight. Now, before we get into the discussion about 6v6, I just wanted to do a bit of a play-by-play -play until we reach the moment in the match that illustrates just how chaotic it would be if there was any more than 12 titans on a map at any one time. So, here we go. This guy here picks up an easy kill on me, but then again he is using a smart pistol. I could get salty about it, but it was a pretty clumsy moment on my part. He had the drop on me regardless. After I respawn, I thought I'd speed up the footage a little bit, for the interest of time. You can see there's a lot of jumping around, getting used to the parkour side of things, and uh, missing out on a few easy grunt kills just by a second or two there. Uh, in a moment, I'll start picking up some pilot kills, like this guy, like my teammate, he just run, runs straight past. How could you miss him? Take a look around, son. And another 30 seconds off the countdown for Titanfall. Thank you, kind sir. I have to say my overall gameplay in this match was pretty poor, but there's a clusterfuck moment I want you all to witness. That sums up why this game shouldn't be any more than 6v6. Just a bit of harmless wall hanging here until I take out this grunt. In later matches, I use the wall hang ability a lot more to my advantage. Like on hardpoint, finding spots in high corners whilst cloaked can buy you a few seconds and give you the jump on any foe that tries to take the objective back. Wall hanging also counts towards recharging your double jump ability. Anytime you touch a surface, you get that boost back straight away. I'm just about ready to call in my first titan now, so I'm scouting around for a safe moment to do so. You never want to get killed in those precious few moments after you call it in, because the chances are you'll be respawned half the map away. Now the Titan AI can be pretty good at times, and if you put it into follow mode it will try to home in on where you are on the map. However, if any enemy pilots rodeo your Titan it will be totally powerless. It goes into its dormant crouched state like when you first call it in. I don't quite know what this guy's doing, but thanks for the easy pickings bro. As I make my way over to the militia spawn side of the map, I'm regrouping with my fellow titans. This is my favourite side of the map to play, even if I'm on the IMC side, because there's plenty of cover to dash in and out of, and some good lanes to play. I push up into the centre of the map, and I lock onto this unsuspecting titan. I thought I had the drop on him, but he pops his vortex shield. I drop back and try and lure him into my electric smoke, but no dies. I thought I might be able to flank around if someone else doesn't finish him off, but lo and behold I get distracted by this guy in the archers and the objective, and I prove just how terrible my aim is. Coming up here is a lesson in not arbitrarily using the electric smoke, like I just did, because now I have a pesky pilot rodeoing the shit out of my titan. Mind you how titan gets the last laugh though. I might not have killed the perpetrator, but it still counts, and then I get this guy unawares. Didn't your mama tell you it's dangerous to go climbing on roofs? Stick to the jungle gym, son. Here I'm being some kind of roof monster, lurking around until my next titan fall. I don't want to stay in one place for too long, because I don't believe in camping. Lurking is for winners, camping is for scrubs. It looks like there's a lot going on by the militia spawn, so I make my way back there. I spot this guy and start putting some shots into him with my sidewinder. It's important to use height to your advantage in engagements like this. I don't think he quite knows where I am, so I use his confusion to get closer. And in another not so proud moment, I decide that shooting him point blank with rockets is a great tactic. Obviously not. And here I totally overlook the fact that I can spawn into my titan and instead make my way over to this nearby rooftop to call it in. There's a good clear view of one of the longest lanes in this map, so I think I'm good to go. I also like to play this lane from the other end. Because it's a high traffic area and there's several drop pod locations for mining those minion kills. There's not many tickets left for the losing IMC side, and I'm yet to doom a titan, so at this point I want to cover as much of the map as possible. 
I decide to loop around the back of C objective, and like I said before, play that lane from the other end. I'm pretty confident at this point that there's no titans in this end of the map, and I start to push back towards the centre, picking up some spectre kills along the way. I obviously haven't checked all of my corners because I start taking damage. I try to regroup with a friendly titan to get that 2 on 1 advantage and narrowly miss killing this pilot in the process. This is that clusterfuck moment that we've all been waiting for. In all the chaos of taking hits, electric smoke popping right back in the centre and correlating the markers on the minimap to what I should be shooting in front of me, we reach this bottleneck moment where there's limited room to manoeuvre around each other. We were sitting ducks. I can only imagine that Respawn tried this game out with higher player counts and that moments like this were more frequent. The few times that they experienced bottlenecks during the beta were frustrating enough. I honestly think that they've done the right thing to balance the game. From what we've seen of the map so far, there's a mixture between open ground where titans are king and close quarters sections where pilots have an advantage. I'm looking forward to seeing how other maps play out. It seems we've reached the end of our 6v6 analysis. In a future video, I want to talk more about how Grunts and Spectres help to populate the Titanfall universe. Until then, I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to support the channel, please leave a like and click the subscribe button. See you soon, YouTubers.